Hi, I'm Karmesh Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about the uh, Sunday, Sunday the 10th of um, September. Today the moon is in Cancer for the third consecutive day and it stays in Cancer till 4.40 p.m. Universal Time. After that, it moves to Leo. So if you're watching me from the Americas almost around noon or before noon, the moon will be in Leo today. So how's it going to be for all signs? Let's break down this day. Uh, starting with Aries, it's uh, it's a fine day. Uh, I know that you're tired, you're exhausted. Uh, and the past two days were not easy. Uh, things will get better. You will feel better. You'll feel um, uh, happier and lighter and ready to enjoy life uh, with, with open arms. Uh, but this basically, you will notice this when the moon reaches uh, Leo. So make plans for a very nice afternoon evening or night, whatever it is. As for Taurus, um, the moon in Cancer is very enjoyable, actually, because um, you seem to be very charming, very persuasive. Uh, people like to would like to uh, listen to you talking, uh, explaining, buying, selling. Uh, it's maybe your voice, the way you talk, something like that. Uh, even your work seems to be more interesting. Whatever you're doing, well, if you're doing nothing, it seems to be a very nice day. But when the moon moves to Leo, you seem to be a little bit more withdrawn and a little bit shy or maybe um, uh, more silent than uh, the morning, which is fine. Uh, it's time for you to relax and stay in your comfort zone. Moving to Gemini, uh, the whole day is beautiful. Uh, whether the moon is in Cancer or in Leo, I th or in Leo, everything seems to be beautiful. I think you are capable of handling so many things at the same time. This is called multitasking, and I think you'll be wonderful. Uh, we will not mention the square from the Sun in Virgo. I think it's time you got used to it, adapted to it. So in general, it's going to be a nice long day, but very fruitful and maybe a little bit physically uh, exhausting. Moving to Cancer, I love this day. I love it, even though it will leave your sign and then the moon leaves your sign and goes to uh, Leo. Uh, it's uh, going to be a beautiful, uh, wonderful, um, innovative day. Uh, definitely something new uh, will be born uh, in you, on your agenda, something different in your mind. Your mind will uh, will be turning round and round and round, revolving, uh, maybe, and will come up with a new idea, a new project, or an, an answer for something. Uh, maybe you decide on moving forward in a different direction or doing, taking some important steps. This is going to be a beautiful day for all Cancerians. Let's move now to Leo. Leo, this is uh, going, this, this is going to be, this day is going to be a bit slow. Um, I think um, you'll be very happy to receive, to welcome the moon in your sign at 4.40 p.m. Universal Time, which is around noon or morning in the American continent, which means that your day is going to change upside down to your favor as soon as the moon moves to your sign. So don't be desperate. Don't give up. Uh, wait till the moon reaches your sign and that's when you can move forward and it's going to be a beautiful beautiful change and you will love it so it's worth waiting it's worth waiting Let's uh, move now to Virgo. Virgo, the moon in Cancer is uh, more helpful than the moon in Leo. So my advice to you is get things going, get things done and wrapped up. Don't wait for the moon to reach Leo because that's when everything stands still and that's when everything seems to, um, to be distorted or confusing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, meaning that things may not be or appear like you wish and i think you'll be a little bit uh, maybe sad so what you have to do is take it easy be calm and um, get things done while the moon is in uh, in cancer after that relax and just enjoy the ride and wait for the moon to reach your sign and uh, let me tell you that will be on wednesday so there you are now you know how to plan your week ahead uh, let's move now to Libra. Libra, it's a fine day. I know that you got used to the, you adapted to the moon, uh, effects of the moon in Cancer. Uh, everything will change. A big change is going to bring, uh, uh, this change will bring um, happiness 
uh, optimism and kind of uh, new energy that will wake you up. Yes, uh, that's when the moon reaches um, Leo at 4.40 p.m. Universal Time. This is going to be uh, turn out to be a beautiful day after all. So enjoy. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. It's just uh, planet Mars that... Um, it's kind of pumping a lot of energy, too much energy. So be careful, especially if you were born between the 2nd and the 5th of October. Let's move now to Scorpio. Scorpio, I know that you uh, you should have enjoyed the uh, Friday and Saturday. The moon in uh, uh, the moon, actually the moon in Virgo and Cancer is beautiful. Uh, today also the moon is in Cancer till 4.40 p.m. Universal time. So it's a very friendly, very lucky time period of time no matter what you're doing it says it is beautiful and it is lucky uh, keep trying keep trying until you get it because you are going to get what you want but when the moon moves to leo um, there's no guarantee that things will be easy smooth or even get uh, wrapped up so um easily i mean you can do put more effort maybe you can get it wrapped up so uh why wait go ahead wake up early and get things done while it's easier and definitely more uh, interesting okay so let's move now to sagittarius sagittarius uh, everything will look beautiful and very charming everything even the things that you did not like uh, that you criticized in the past two days uh, the comments uh, i think you're going to delete some comments that you um, uploaded on the social media that's uh, when the moon moves to um, uh, to uh, leo because your uh, point of view your idea your vision has changed uh, you don't care anymore you think everything is fine people can do whatever they do people can say whatever they say it's freedom of speech or the freedom of whatever it is individual freedom so maybe you'll go around for example and start uh, uh, making amends uh, deleting some comments and uh, sending nice beautiful comments you know um, this is just to say just a, an idea to give you an idea that's going to turn out to be a beautiful day so don't worry about anything if people ever criticized you before uh, during this week you're going to be happy uh, and you'd be very uh, surprised with some nice comments towards you also. Okay, very nice day. Let's uh, move now to Capricorn. I know that you felt a little bit sad or maybe disappointed with some comments from people who really, um, maybe they said something that hurt your feelings, you know, or hurt your credibility. But if you're sure of yourself, nothing should shake you at all. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful day after all. The moon will leave uh, Cancer. It will go to um, Leo and it will turn out to be a fine, beautiful day. So try to enjoy. Let's move now to Aquarius. Aquarius, don't wait for the moon to reach uh, Leo because that's when things get a little bit bumpy or maybe a little bit uh, edgy. So get things done easily, uh, talk smoothly, flexibly, and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy a beautiful Sunday. But if you have important stuff to do for the next couple of days, try to wrap them up work on them while the moon is in cancer in the afternoon in the evenings things may be a little bit uh, more complicated let's move now to pisces pisces um, i know the effects of the <clears throat> moon in cancer is uh, they are beautiful they're very soothing and they're very rewarding so why wait till the moon moves to leo so get things done move around and sort things out and leave the afternoon the evening uh, for relaxing uh, of course there's no time to relax because you're going to be running and dashing about and getting things done uh, so you'll end up by the end of the day very tired and exhausted but you should know that this is how it's going to be on monday and tuesday let's wrap it up with born on today on the 10th this should be a very nice interesting year very um uh, very successful 
um, many achievements are promised if you work hard and if you maybe you will be joining hands with some uh, organization or maybe uh, um, maybe there is some kind of a company that will give you some help or new opportunity in all cases this is a very important year for your uh, public relations and for growing and for reaching uh, to the stars so basically this is it wishing you all a beautiful day see you tomorrow enjoy bye bye